Hi, I'm Miss Cass from the Avondale Library, where we have been making story deals. Now, the story that I have for you today is from a book called Read Aloud Tales from Around the World, Silly and Sillier, told by Judy Sierra, illustrated by Valerie Gorbachev. Today's story is a story about how sometimes when we make a deal, we can get more than we bargain for. This story today is called Clever Mandy, and it's from the Bahamas, where stories begin with, once upon a time in the old people time when the monkey chewed tobacco and spit white lime, there was a girl named Mandy. Now Mandy wanted to go off to seek her fortune. She wanted to find out what it was she was going to do in the world, what the world had for her, so she packed a knapsack and she started walking, 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 walking. It takes a while to seek your fortune. Walking, walking, walking. And this particular day, it was starting to get a little bit dark. And Mandy saw coming down the road an old woman with a cane. And the old woman walked up to her and said, where are you going, girl? And Mandy said, well, I am off to make my fortune. And the old woman said, to make your fortune well. Well, why don't you come home with me and work for me? And if you work for me for one whole year, I will give you half of my fortune, half, half of my treasure. Half of your treasure, said Mandy, half of your treasure, just for working for one year, for one year, said the old woman, one year. And so Mandy agreed. And she went home with the whole old woman, she had a night's sleep, and she got up that morning and she started working. And she worked until sundown and then beyond. And every day, Every day she worked from sun up and sun down and beyond. She worked so hard. She scrubbed floors. She washed windows. She cooked food. She did the, the, the wood cutting. She, she filled the fireplace. She did all kinds of work for a year. She was exhausted at the end of that year, but she thought it will be worth it because I'll have half of this old woman's treasure. And the morning of the day where it had been one year since she had met this old woman, she said, Okay, it's been a year. I'm ready to get half of your treasure. And the old woman said, not so fast. You can have half of my treasure if by the end of the day today, you can tell me my name. Tell you your name? Tell you your name, thought Mandy. And she thought, what is her name? She's never said her name. Tell you your name. Well, if you can tell me my name, the old woman said, I will give you half my treasure, but if you cannot, and you guess, and you cannot, then you will have to work for me for the rest of your life. Now Mandy thought about all of the work that she had done and how hard it had been, and she thought, no, no, that's not the kind of deal for me. That's not the deal that I want. And she ran out of the door. But halfway down the hill, she thought, wait a minute, wait a minute. And she remembered dusting in and cleaning this woman's treasure, her gold, her silver, all of the jewels, and she thought, it's worth it. It's worth it to try. So Mandy went back and said, I'll take the deal. I will tell you by the end of the day your name and you will give me half of your treasure and if I can't, I will work for you for the rest of my life. And the old woman said, done. And Mandy went out looking, walking, searching. Who would know this old woman's name? And she saw next to a bush a cat grooming herself and Mandy went up and said, kitty catty, kitty catty, do you know the old woman's name? And Kitty said, Caddy said, yes, I know, but I can't say so. And, and, and Mandy said, you can't say, yes, I know, but I won't say so. And Mandy said, okay, well, thank you, Kitty Caddy. And Mandy walked on and she saw a dog and she said, diggy doggy, diggy doggy, do you know the old woman's name? And the dog said, oh, yes, I know, but I won't say so. And Mandy said, please, please, just tell me your name. I won't say so. And Mandy said, thank you, Diggy Doggy. And she went down to the water. It was starting to get a little bit dark, so she went down to the, the water and she saw Cribby Crabby cribbing along. And she thought, it's worth a, sh a chance. So she said, Cribby Crabby, Cribby Crabby, do you happen to know the old woman's name? And Cribby Crabby said, yes, I no, but I, I, you what? I won't 
say so. I will not tell you that that old woman's name is Kula Masander W. Diamond Paw. I won't do it. No matter what you do to me, I will not do it. I won't tell you her name. Don't ask me. I'm not telling you her name is Kula Masander W. Diamond Paw. I will not tell you that. I won't. I won't. Don't ask. I won't tell. And Mandy said, thank you, Cribby Crabby. And she went back up to the old woman's house. And when she got to the old woman's house, the old woman said, well, the sun is just going down, Mandy. What is my name? And Mandy said, could I have three guesses? And the old woman said, three guesses, a hundred guesses, you'll never guess. And Mandy said, okay, is your name Grinny Granny Grinny? And the old woman said, no, my name is not Grinny Granny Grinny. And she said, is your name, is your name Paris Tweed? No, my name is not Paris Tweed. Well, then your name must be Kula Masander W. Diamond Paw. And the old woman said, ah, ah, how did you know my name? How did you know my name? Who told you? Somebody told you. Someone had to tell you. And the old woman ran out of the door. And she took her cane and she went over to Kitty Catty and said, Kitty Catty, Kitty Catty, did you tell that girl my name? And Kitty Catty said, no, 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 I didn't say so. And she went to Diggy Doggy and said, Diggy Doggy, did you tell that girl my name? And the dog said, oh, no, 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 I didn't say so. And then she went down to the water and she saw Cribby Crabby cribbing along. And she said, Cribby Crabby, Cribby Crabby, did you tell that girl my name? And Cribby Crabby said, no. And she said, you did, you told her. And with that, she took her cane up and she hit Krabby Krabby right on the top of his back. Now, until then, Krabs had a very, very small, soft and smooth back. But from that moment on, Krabs always had a very, very hard shell. Now, the old woman went back up to her house and Mandy was standing there waiting for her due, waiting for half of the woman's treasure. The woman divided her treasure in half and Mandy took her half. And then she went back home to her village and she told all of the children the old woman's name because she didn't want anyone else getting into a bargain with that old woman. So if someone should ask, that old woman's name is Kula Masander W. Diamond Paw. Ben, Benny, Ben, this story ends.